email me and ask, what is a rat rod? So I decided to do a video and explain it. To the average person, if you say rat rod, one might think a rat and a hot rod. Well, if you're pressing that as Vito, the artist who did our crab fest painting this year, you probably would. But this guy has a way with a paintbrush that would even make an angel seem scared. A ninja turtle. Hell, in Preston's world, a spider scared for its own life. Preston does get a little bit closer to it here in his comic book series, Rockabilly Road Trip, which was released in 2007. Right about the time Rat Rod's really starting to take off. So what is a rat rod, and where did it come from? Well, according to Wikipedia, a rat rod imitates early hot rods from the 1940s, 50s, and 60s. But not to be confused with the traditional hot rods like John Milner's 32 Deuce Coupe from the culturally significant movie American Graffiti, which was released August 2nd, 1973. You see, back then we didn't have rat rods. They were called jalopies. You familiar? Now what we did have back in 1973 was Pete and Jake and their famous cars, the California Kid and Jake's Coupe. You see, at this point in history, hot rodding was really starting to take off. And by 1970, the entertainment industry started to pick up on this culture. With movies like Smokey and the Bandit, Mad Max, American Graffiti, Gone in 60 Seconds. Oh, and yes, the original movie was actually released in 1974. But at this point in history, hot rods had evolved into street machines, which were hopped up hot rods that eventually evolved into Pro Street, which were street legal dragsters. And by 1987, everyone was showing off what they had built. And car shows like Autorama, World of Wheels, The Riddler, Good Guys, these car shows were really starting to become popular and the prices on these cars skyrocketed. Well, Jake from Pete and Jake's Auto Parts decided he would build a car a little more affordable. Not like the ones he's used to building, but one a lot cheaper. He got a deuce frame, a Model A sedan body, he cut off the roof, chopped the windshield, added a hopped up small block Chevy 350, and put a bench in it for a seat. And he drove that car to the Good Guys West Coast Nationals, where he pulled up in the middle of the show, got out with two cans of paint, and started painting the car right there in the middle of the show, and inheriting the name Jake Loppy. Needless to say, people loved it. Some even joined in. Now believe it or not, this was not the first rat ride. Although this was one of the great inspirations because the first rat ride didn't actually appear until three years later. And in order to find that out, we're gonna have to take a trip back in time. A time when cars and art got into a head-on collision. You see, in the 50s and 60s, there was a guy named Ed Roth. Oh, no, correction, Ed Big Daddy Roth, the creator of Rat Fink. Ha <laughs> look, it's a rat in a hot rod. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're thinking. That looks familiar, huh? Now, Ed did something back in the late 50s that no one else was doing. Aside from the rat fink paintings, weirdo t-shirts, he was building these cars like the Outlaw, Beatnik Bandit, the Mysterium, the Orbitron, the Road Agent, and the Surfite. These cars went on to become toys that some of you may recognize from whenever you were a kid. Now in the late 60s, Ed had a young guy working for him by the name of Robert Williams, who later in life went on to become famous for his lowbrow art and pop art. Yeah, that looks familiar too, huh? But if you go back and you look at some of Robert Williams' artwork, you can see rat rods didn't just magically appear. They've always been here. Kind of like the sunglasses you looked for for over 15 minutes before you realized they was propped up on your forehead. Because in 1991, a car surfaced that would change the car world forever. Robert Williams built a car that reminded him of his youth. He called it Eight Naces, a 1932 primered Ford Roadster. And it coined the term Rat Rod, which was a spinoff of Rat Bike, both kind of meaning the same thing. Now Williams' Eight Naces and Jake's Jake Lobby ushered in a new era, paving the way for cars like Steve Seller's Seaweed Coupe Mark Izzard's Purple People Eater, Jimmy Shine's Bare Naked, and these two guys, Dennis Landry, AKA Krabs, and Ron Alexander, AKA Mr. Sparks. So I recently called up with both these guys at the Atomic Blast Show in Gulfport, Mississippi, to find out what makes a rat ride 
Well, a rat ride. Let's go. 